Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is very exciting because I'm going to be doing a review and swatch fest on the new Bite Beauty lipsticks from the Spice Collection. Now they've only just launched these online and they are available on Sephora's site and Bite Beauty's site, but they're not available in stores at Sephora until the 25th of May. This is a seasonal collection for Bite, so they are limited edition. So when these are gone, they are not coming back. And as far as I'm aware, Bite has never really released a limited edition product and then actually made it permanent that I can think of. The eight lipsticks in this collection are part of Bite's Amuse Bouche formula, which means that they are really creamy and hydrating. These are not a matte lipstick. They do feel very emollient on the lips and they're not transfer proof, obviously, because they are a cream lipstick, but they are super saturated with pigment. And that's one of the really nice things that I like about Bite Beauty. I feel like they don't miss the mark when it comes to particular formulas of theirs. I have never run into an Amuse Bouche lipstick that I didn't like. I feel like every single one that I've tried, which is in like the dozens of colors at this point, have all been really, really consistent. The other thing worth mentioning about Bite Beauty's lipstick range is that they are incredibly comfortable to wear. They are hydrating, but they're also never like sticky or tacky or drying. I feel like it's just a really good range of products. And that may be due to the fact that that their ingredients are food grade. So you know that you're putting something a little bit better for you on your face. The packaging on the Spice Collection is very thematic. You've got like your little spice piles and the colors are pretty much what you're gonna be looking at for this entire collection. The bullets are their traditional sort of like scooped neck top and of course pull off the top and you've got the lipstick like that with the little B embossed on the front. I do really like this collection and I feel like it's a little bit unique and I'm honestly kind of surprised that nobody's ever really done a spice themed collection before that I can think of right now. But all of the titles of these uh, lipsticks in here are based around spices, which I thought was really nice because we're going into the summer right now. It's when everything sort of heats up and that's when I tend to think of like fiery warm spices. So. There's a few names in here that just really, I thought were cute, like Saffron Fire, there's Crushed Chili, Pink Salt. The one that I'm wearing right now is called a Saffron Fire and it's just like neon orange red goodness. This color is by far my favorite in this collection. I think it's absolutely wonderful. The second runner up potentially is Hot Harissa. I think that's how you say that spice name. That's not one I'm actually familiar with. It's kind of like a burnt rust color. Really, really love this one. Now the pigmentation is solid across the board for all of these except for one. I felt like Star Anise, yeah. This is kind of that cool toned gray, was quite pale and maybe slightly translucent, but I'm not entirely sure if that's just sort of like the color of the product or if it was my lip color showing through. So of all the ones, in this collection, I think that this one potentially has the least amount of pigment, but like, that's not to say that it's not a gorgeous color. It is a very cool tone gray, which I thought was really fun for this collection because it's not just focused on red hot spices. There's also some more, you know, cool toned gray brown ones in there as well. Those are my thoughts on the lipstick formula. Let's dive right into the swatches.
that's it for the Bite Beauty Spice Collection lipsticks. Let me know what you think about them. I think they're beautiful. I love the color range and I love that it's not just focused on one side of the spectrum. There is more in here that's nude or brown or even that cool tone gray, which was kind of surprising, but really works in this collection. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you next time. Bye.